In today's video, I am going to be breaking down what some of my U14 players in the States, they'd be classified as U13, and how they play basketball and how they're able to score so easily. They just recently destroyed two teams and had a massive comeback that almost got them a win. So let's get down. Let's check this out. Okay, so we've seen Jimmy on this channel before he trains with me, but look at what he's able to do with his off arm. When he's trying to beat this player, he's able to lock that player out with that elbow to make sure that that player is now stuck behind him and no longer able to defend him. At this point, he's able to continue his drive to the basket and he had nobody there to really defend him. He had this little small guy versus how tall and big he is, but he's able to protect his ball, the ball with his body. I would have personally like to keep his hand or the ball a bit higher but either way he was able to get past that defender and easily finish at the rim now this next play is a dribble handoff between Etienne and David and David is a very good three-point shooter this is actually a set play that we run uh, after one of our horns offenses breaks down and it's a nice quick easy handoff and with good footwork we're able to of course make that shot very easy for David now this all came about if we rewind just a bit after he gets that dribble handoff the defender went underneath that screen he was not respecting David's shot this weekend where this video was taken in the two games that David was playing he shot 9 for 15 in two games from the three-point line he was shooting 60 percent from three which is a very rare number at volume shooting 15 threes and in two games is like seven and a half threes a game. That's huge. That's volume shooting. And what he is able to do here is when he, he takes that dribble and then plants his right foot first. Now, I always prefer planting the inside foot first in this case, which is that right leg, because now that's going to allow David to get his right side in line, and he's able to go up with his shot. He finishes with his, el his elbow at his forehead, and that's generally where you want to have it, either el uh, elbow at the forehead or a bit higher. And he has that nice soft flick as well. And that shot was able to go perfectly swish right into the basket. Now... The other thing to mention too is when he shoots the ball here and when he has that accurate shot, his shoulders tend to go back and feet tend to go forward, exactly what you would see in a lot of NBA players who shoot at a high percentage. Now in this next clip, we're going up against a 2-3 zone and Armin did a fantastic job here. Now what he did was he was able to get that ball over to the wing player, which is David. You see, in a 2-3 zone, the wings, if the ball's at the point, unless they run the 2-3 zone like I do, where it's almost like a 1-1-3 one, one, and the, the one guy kind of... Uh, covers the wings when the wing, wing gets that ball but most teams will trap the top and if the if the corner players don't move up to guard the wing well the wing is going to be wide open and that's what happened here and David was able to get himself an open actually wide open three-point shot so if you're going up against a 2-3 zone maybe a not a, a lesser experienced team where those wing or corner players do not move up to the wing to cover that wing for three then you could get yourselves a ton of easy threes by just basically standing at the wing. Now in this next clip we have Armin. He does a quick fake pass which loses that man. And then he's able to get to the rim. How he's able to do this, and this is a this is a man's move. So he makes that fake pass first which freezes that first defender. And then he goes up and then he does this windmill because there's this defender coming over to block his shot, to block his layup. This is a high level move. There's a few ways that you can train things like this. For example, you can go and attack a basket. If you've got a friend with you, you can get up into the air, you can tap your friend's hand, and then go for a layup on the other side. So you can practice these moves with a partner without having a defender like we see right here. But this was such a high-level move that I had to incorporate it here. Because anytime that you can move that ball, like Armin did, while in the air is almost Michael Jordan-esque. That is amazing. So now we have Armin once again. He is a attacking a 
double defender situation. Yo. What up? What's up, coach? I'm just recording a video. Uh, in in, in fact, we have Armin on the phone right now. How are you doing, Armin? Good, coach. How are you? Not too bad. We're actually just breaking down your footage. Oh, which one? <laughs> against, uh, this one's against Blitz. That's good. Hey, I played really well against him. You did. Anything you want to say to YouTube? Yeah, guys, just subscribe, turn on the noties. Uh, yeah, Coach Allen's the best coach. Here, give me like 30 seconds. I'll call you back. Alright, it's fine. It's fine. Okay. And that was Armin. <laughs> that, was, that just worked out too too perfectly but anyways he's attacking two defenders right here and what he does is very very smart so he's coming down and he sees that there's two defenders are facing that right side and if he was to attack that right side and do a left hand layup he's going to get contested quite easily he goes against their top foot goes against where they're running and goes the opposite way there's actually a gap right there where he's able to spin off take his two steps, protect the ball with his body, and then he was able to make that shot. And something else that I want to point out as well is that he's playing with an injured hand. Fantastic job, Armin. You actually got MVP that game. Uh, if I remember correctly, he had 22 points, I think three rebounds, three assists, something like that. And then there is David right at the end with this last clip, and that move was fantastic. Let me explain why this move was so good. Well, first off, when he attacks the basket, he does every he does everything that I always tell everybody, and that is keep that ball high above the head. Because we see that there's arms here trying to reach in. If he was to bring that ball down, that ball would have been stripped. And he was able to keep it high. He brought it down there. This could have been an easy time to strip him, but he only kept it down for a second. And then he kept his arm outstretched away from the defender to finish at the rim. That's why I think that he's one of the best 12-year-olds in Canada right now. Because he can do moves like that and shoot at 60% from three. I have some amazing players on all the teams that I coach. I hope this video has helped you. If it has, hit that like button and subscribe. And I'll see you guys again next time.